Welcome back to another video or if you're new to my channel then welcome today's gonna be a very short vlog I just wanted to vlog a little bit because it's gonna be like 54 degrees today and I wanted to take the kids to the park and then Nathan and I are gonna do a little bit of like holiday baking later on just a really simple little activity that pretty much any small kid can do themselves so I wanted to film that as well um, that's it. Um, with this pandemic, it's getting harder and harder to find like good content, like find ideas for filming. So I feel like if I just pick up the camera whenever we're like out or doing something other than watching Disney Plus or cleaning, then I should just go ahead and film it. I hope you guys enjoy that I'm vlogging more and posting more because I know for a while I was really stagnant on this channel and I kept like coming back and making videos like apologizing for not being on here but now I'm consistently back um, I'm working on some good content for you guys so yeah I didn't do vlogmas that was another thing someone asked me are you gonna do vlogmas this year and I said no because I don't I don't know I don't want to say it's hard for me to film every day because it's not like it's pretty easy to pick up the camera because we we don't really go anywhere but that is the problem we don't really go to a lot of places so I wouldn't have anything super interesting to film and I feel like I would run out of ideas really really quickly so that's why I've never participated in vlogmas maybe next year after we've like um, gotten into a different house and things are a little different um, with our lives that maybe vlogmas is something that would be possible i'm still trying to get my husband on the channel more but i'm not pushing him so we'll see what next holiday season looks like also hopefully this pandemic has calmed down next season so that we are able to do more things um because we're just very limited it's like the park curbside food pickup curbside grocery pickup that's pretty much all we do now because I don't like to bring all of them into the store. Um, I did take the twins to Target the other day, if you guys watched that video, but they had their little masks on and I didn't have all three of them, so it wasn't like I had to like make sure Nathan wasn't taking off and they weren't trying to get out of the stroller or the cart or whatever. I just had the two of them to watch, which is a little bit easier. But that was like, we haven't been out to any stores in quite a while and if we have, it's been like doing um, curbside pickup or I just like go by myself. So that was like their first time really being out in a couple months. Um, I had some anxiety about it, but they seem to do okay for the most part. Again, if you watch that video, then you know that our shopping experience wasn't the best, but we got through it. I felt better because I just got out of the house for a little bit. It's like a boost of serotonin to me, like to just get out and not be stuck in my house all the time. It was really starting to like affect my mental being in the house all the time. And then I've also, I'll, I'll talk about this in a second once we get in the car because there is something else um, I wanted to say that goes with the like cabin fever I've been experiencing. So I'm gonna get Nathan's shoes on. Other thing that I was trying to say was, um, we've been, like I wasn't like, I wouldn't say that I was exposed to someone who has COVID, but I was told that someone that I may have been around um, got it. And so I was off work for a few days. Um, and that was another reason like I just started filming again because I was off for a little while and I didn't know what to film. So yeah, that was exciting being off all those days, but I go back to work today. So I'm so happy about that. And down, you just think you're grown, huh? Huh? This is your favorite slide. I'm surprised you can even walk in those big boy shoes. Oh, yeah, we did our pickup their new shoes. <laughs> Ezra thinks he is hot stuff on this thing. Careful! 
Elijah, where'd you go? Hey, what are you doing? Go down the slide. Isn't there water at the bottom? Yeah. Ew. Well, then, no, let's not. Are you going to go over there? No. No? Why are you pointing over there? Huh? You make no sense. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm glad you, I'm glad you agree. Uh-uh, mommy's not getting up there. I'm not getting up there. Because if I get up there, then I can't watch you to make sure that you don't fall. See how that works? Okay. I'm fly. That looks like a dagger. Ezra, slow down. You look like a dagger. It look, yeah, it looks like Hi. a dagger. That's kind of dangerous. Where'd you find that? What? That little stick. That stick? Yeah, that stick. It's kind of sharp. Uh, I broke it and I make it short. Oh. Uh -huh. You got me down. There he okay. comes. Yeah, he just likes to go up and down. Good exercise. Up and down stairs. Oh, yeah, Maybe yeah. I should be doing that. No. <laughs> Do you know how to do this? You want out? Here, duck down. Duck, duck down. Ezra, duck, duck down. down. Duck there down. you go. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> guys, are you ready for lunchtime? We're way far away from my car. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. We're, we ended up all the way over here. There's like this giant, like four acres of land over here that we just, I don't even know. Maybe four, maybe more than four acres. It's like six or seven. Come on. We're like way far away from where we started out. It's getting kind of cold. And I, I don't know where Nathan just went. Nathan! So I hurried up and got the boys in the car because there's just like random people. Like you can't see them. There's random people just that park at this park. I don't know why. They're all like old men or like old women. I'm assuming that they work at the factories over here. I don't know. Cause why else would they be here? Sit back, sit back. Like it's freaking me out and making me uncomfortable. And yeah, so we're leaving. The boys finally settled down. Um, all three of them just fight so much. And it really is starting to like take its toll on my mental and just everything. Like I'm getting very stressed and worn out dealing with them. I know there's parents that like have more kids or maybe they'll have maybe they have two sets of twins or they have triplets or whatever but just I'm really going through it and I feel like the older they get the more worn out I'm getting I'm not feeling energized it's not getting easier it's getting harder so yeah I don't know and I do kind of consider myself a stay-at-home mom um, because I am home with them Monday through Thursday, 7 to 5, and then the last several Fridays, my husband's been working, so I've been home with them on Fridays, too. I've been home with them, um, 7 to 5 on Fridays, too. So, I feel like the only time that I, I'm not with them is on the weekends and that's when he has them but the other five days out of the week it's just me and the boys until five o'clock at night and then my husband gets home they eat dinner we clean up they give the we give them a bath or he gives them a bath and then it's bedtime like i feel like i pretty much do everything by myself because he works so much and i don't know i don't think i'm handling it the best way I definitely thought at first that I was doing a good job, but lately I've been kind of doubting my um, skills. Um, but I just got out the treats. I'm trying to be quiet so they don't get interested in what I'm doing in here. Um, but I just got out the treats for baking, which is these pretzels, these little Lolos, and then I also have to get the little holiday M&Ms too. This is so, so easy, you guys. You just line some pretzels up on a baking sheet and you put the little Rolos on the pretzels, bake them in the oven for just a little bit for the chocolate to get soft, 
and then you take the little M&Ms and you press them down. Um, me and Nathan will show you guys once we get the other two laid down, but that's basically like the gist of what we'll be doing. Okay, so. Okay, now we're making actually pretzels and, and chocolate and make a chocolate pretzel. And, uh, and we're gonna make it and we're gonna taste it and it's gonna taste so good. So good. Yeah. All right, so we already preheated our oven to 350. Yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna take our Meyer brand tiny twist and we're just going to layer these on a straight baking sheet. Now, how to make them is to make them real, it's real easy. Now, i show you how to make one. with the Rolos. We're actually running out of Rolos, so it's probably a, a good idea that I only decided to do one sheet of these instead of doing two, because I do have like another baking pan that's twice as big. More chocolates? Here, I got you. There you go. There you go. So yeah, we're just gonna um, use up the rest of the Rolos. I think we'll have just enough for the rest of the pretzels that's yeah. on here, and then we'll go ahead and pop them in the oven for just a couple minutes and keep it soft. Yeah. Uh, we need to melt the chocolate. Yep, we need to melt the chocolate. And we love chocolate. This is better. It tastes like better than normal chocolate. It's better than normal chocolate. Look at our pile of wrappers over here. <laughs> 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 these are gonna be so cute. This is like a lot too. Look at the wild wrappers. Yeah, we use a whole bag of Rolos. We have just enough. Wow. I know. Okay, it looks like we're ready to put these in the oven. So I'm going to have you step back. Go ahead and slide your stool back. Chocolate or milk? Subscribe and hit that like button and watch our videos because our videos we, we can make every stuff in the world. Mommy's gonna make it all herself and I need her need help. I can make get her help. And you subscribe and you can watch our videos and subscribe because you know what I said watch the videos? You're not supposed to subscribe. And, okay, this is a better thing. Mommy's way behind me. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, baby. And, you subscribe. You can watch. The camera's Mom. right here. You have to look at the green dot. Green dot? Look at the green dot right there. Oh. That's where you're supposed to be looking at when you talk. <laughs> uh, subscribe in mommy's videos. Subscribe with my videos. Let's see if they're ready. I'll go open them. Here, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay. Nope. They're starting to melt through. We need to take them out. Don't melt through. I kind of ripped the bag. <laughs> go on, Here's go what on. I'm going to do. Do you really want to do it? everything? Here. You're going to give it to me on my side or your side? Oh, you're going to give it on my side? Yeah. And you're going to get a bowl? Alright, so next we're just going to take these little M&Ms and we're going to press them center. Uh, hopefully our chocolate has melted enough. Just take it and 
Oh, they're super melty. Okay, be very careful. Don't press too hard. Press lightly like that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Oh, I break everything. So we actually let these melt a little bit yeah. like too much. That's okay. Oh, oh no. That's okay. I would not use that finger again. Use the yeah, use your other finger. Yeah? got a little melty, like more melted than we wanted them to, but like, that like is, super melted. That, is okay. that was like super yeah. melted. Super good. It was it was super melted. Like I'm going down. All right, that does it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye.